I'm in Andrew Bochita. Here's a look at what's happening today. A man is being released today after new evidence in a 35 year old case finds him innocent. Ricky Davis spent over a decade in prison for the killing of his roommate. New DNA evidence exonerated him and led law enforcement to a new suspect. He was convicted in 2005 of second degree murder for the death of Jane Hilton. Genetic genealogy was used to determine the DNA was not Davis's. Tomorrow, presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg will start his Northern California campaign in Sacramento. He'll be at the south side of Cesar Chavez Plaza for a town hall starting at 6. After that, he's headed to Turlock for the Stanislaus County Democratic Party fundraiser. And a quick heads up about some emergency road work that could affect your drive. Caltrans will close the westbound 80 connector ramp to Interstate 5 tonight. The closure will run from 1130 tonight to 4 a.m. The detour is westbound 80 to West El Camino, then east head eastbound 80 back to 5. Now for a check of your weather, here's meteorologist Monica Wood. Oh, seeing a few changes in the forecast. Let's go ahead and start it off with temperatures. Now we did cool slightly from yesterday, and it's been a trend that we've been following for the past couple of days after record highs earlier this week. Now we're starting to see that slight cooling trend with highs reaching the low to mid 60s for today through the valley. We're at about 60 for the foothills and close to about 50 to 55 for this year. So again, we're down by about 5 to 10 degrees in most areas about a 16 degree drop in temperatures for Santa Rosa. This is coming in from a system well to the north of us that isn't necessarily bringing us a whole lot of clouds, rain or snow, but it is starting starting to weaken that resilient high that's been over us, preventing us from getting really good moisture coming through from the Pacific. Now that is going to show some modest breaking down, allowing some of these systems to have a slightly better chance of, if anything, bringing us at least a chance for snow. We're going to keep it dry in the valley, becoming breezy by early next week. Highs are going to stay in the 60s. And then by the end of this 10 day period, by next Sunday, possibly bringing back that storm track to Northern California. Now you're all caught up in what's happening today. Heavy rains and snow are finally on their way. Stay up to date with the latest in severe weather as well as breaking news and traffic with the ABC 10 app. Available now in the App Store or Google Play. ABC 10, wherever you are.